This video is going to be going over 13 men's clothing brands that you can sell basically with a gigantic margin of error. They're so strong that they constitute what I feel to be almost guaranteed ROI in short order. My methodology is I'm very sell-through rate focused when it comes to clothing sales. I don't like buying something and having it sitting around in my inventory for more than three, four months at the most. So these are brands that have at least 100% sell-through, meaning the actives at any given time will typically match the number of solds or the solds will surpass the number of actives. And these are also brands that you can sell for a decent enough margin where you're not really squandering your time when you list them. So you can expect a pretty good return, a solid chunk of money for your effort. And this is an addendum to a video that I released previously that was the 20 strongest men's clothing brands. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video if you haven't seen it. So these are 13 additional brands that came to mind after I published the video. The first one is Cricket or Cricket, probably Cricket, C-R-I-C, right? Nope. C-R-I-Q-U-E-T. It's a brand that is based in Austin, Texas, I believe, and they do polo shirts, golf style shirts, although it's not golf clothing. It's kind of upscale, golf inspired, yachty type clothing, sort of like a Lacoste, but more expensive. I typically find polo shirts. I think that's all I found from them. I found a handful of the short sleeves and one of the long sleeves. And I have one in my store right now that hasn't sold because it has a bunch of flaws with it. But even the ones that I've had before that had flaws still sold for decent money. And this is one of those 2X brands where the solds are bigger than the actives. A lot of demand for, for cricket stuff and pretty good money, especially if you can find something in wool or cashmere or a more unusual fabric, bigger size, all the standard rules of clothing selling. Next brand is Willis and Geiger. I, early in my clothing career, found a safari jacket from Willis & Geiger that I sold for, I think, 150 It was a lot of money. Anything that you can find Willis & Geiger, even if it's just a basic shirt, is going to sell. Willis & Geiger, I believe, has gone out of business, which means that their stuff is in even higher demand. Again, the stuff that is a little more obscure or a little higher end, like the safari jackets, which is what they're famous for, are gonna fetch you quite a bit of money. But just a basic dress shirt, still in high demand. There is an activewear brand that I found once called Hylete, H-Y-L-E-T-E. -E. I found two pairs of their shorts, and I think I sold them for around 40 or 50 bucks for the bundle. It is sort of like Roan, a brand from the other video, and that it's just basic workout stuff, but there's something about the fabric or the quality of the clothing or the marketing of the clothing, perhaps maybe just plausibly, that makes it in more demand and sells for more money, despite being really basic looking. So those kinds of activewear brands are actually great to find because no thrift store is gonna know about Highly. No thrift store is gonna know about Roan. They're very small. They're unassuming looking, and it's something that a screener would pass up uh, 99 times out of 100, even if they're going through and, and screening out, looking the stuff up, trying to uh, find valuable stuff before putting it out on a, the floor of a thrift store, where, of course, they're going to catch all the Nike and Adidas. Something like Hylite is going to get past them, so be on the lookout. Next brand is Cinch. Cinch does Western wear. It's just a really solid seller. All the stuff that I found from them has sold very quickly. If you can find like hoodies or jackets, that stuff sells great. I think they do jeans as well, but my wheelhouse really is men's tops, jacks and sh jackets and shirts. So that's, that's what I know. And since shirts, even basic button downs sell for great money. This next brand I found one time I listed it and it sold within a couple days. It's Howler Brothers. I have no idea what the backstory with this brand is, where they're manufactured, or what recommends it over other brands, but it's, I think, 2X or 3X sell-through on Howler Bros. It's in crazy high demand, and the numbers are not that anemic. There's typically, you know, two to 500 active listings for this brand at any given time, and I wish that I could find it more. This is the kind of thing maybe it would be good to look for online somewhere to try to source, but 
absolutely anything Howler Brothers is gonna sell. This brand I include Although I've never actually found it. I've never sold this brand, but it's one that reselling YouTube talks about a lot, or at least used to talk about. I don't hear it brought up that much anymore. It's uh, Kiton, or Kiton, or Kitten, K-I-T-O-N, presumably French. And um, they do formal wear. They're kind of like a Brioni. They make a lot of dress shirts and ties. Maybe they do suits, I'm not sure. Way past 100% sell-through. I think it was two or three times sell-through and really good money. They have a logo that has a little red dot above the eye that makes it really easy to, easy to identify. And I've been on the lookout for it forever and I've never found it. But if you get luckier than me, pick it up because the stuff sells for really good money. This next brand is not as high-end. This is very bread and butter. It's Salt Life which is a fishing, surfing, outdoors with a little bit of attitude type brand. They do graphic t-shirts, really basic stuff. It's not going to sell for a ton of money. T-shirt, you can expect to get 15 to 25. But 100% sell through and you find it pretty often because it is popular. So it's one of those things where if you can find it for relatively cheap, pick it up and list it and you'll make, I don't know, five, 10 bucks, why not? The next brand is Buckle, which you will see on the tag as BKE, the acronym. Anything Buckle will sell, even stuff that seems really basic and stupid, like button down shirts, if it's got a little bit of graphics on it, it can sell for 50 bucks. If you find a 2XL button down shirt with all the fleur-de-lis and crosses, you can sell those for 50, 60 bucks. There is a lot of demand for it. There's demand across the brand. Their jeans sell awesome as well, BKE jeans. And this is a men's clothing uh, specific video, but a lot of these brands have crossover into women's stuff and BKE is one of them. BKE does do women's clothing. I don't know if the sell through is as strong, but it's definitely worth looking up if you find it. And if you find it in men's, if the price is right, pick it up, it will sell. A viewer actually recommended this brand to me in the comment section of the previous video, and it's Taylor Stitch. And I knew that I recognized it from somewhere, and it was from two t-shirts that I was able to flip on Poshmark almost right away, as soon as I listed them. And Taylor Stitch stuff has some of the highest sell-through of any brand on this list. I think it it's like three or four X sell-through, and it sells for great money. Those t-shirts I know sold for around 25 each, even basic stuff will fetch really good money. It's a perfect brand. Anything that you can find Taylor Stitch, pick it up. Some of it's worth crazy money and it's all in really, really, really high demand. The next brand is very similar to Taylor Stitch, both in terms of all those metrics and in terms of aesthetics. It's Buck Mason, which I think is a relatively new clothing brand. Everything that I found from Buck Mason has sold right away. You have to price it, you know, reasonably. But as long as you do that, it will flip. Crazy high demand. For some reason, guys are willing to pay a lot of money because it's really expensive new with tags. So if you find even really basic stuff used, pick it up. Anything with the Buck Mason logo on it, definitely invest the time and money to sell it. It will pay off for you. This brand is a formal wear brand, which has not really been evidenced in these videos that much because there's not that many formal wear brands that have 100% sell through. There are specific niches within a formal wear brand that will be really high uh, demand or will be able to fetch significantly more money than other stuff that's more common in the brand. But this brand uh, hits both buttons. It's good money and it's consistent money, good sell through is suit supply. So suit supply suits obviously are worth picking up. You'll get a pretty penny for them. Even dress shirts, more basic stuff. I think I've found polo shirts from them before. That stuff also will sell for pretty good money. I think I got a linen shirt from Suit Supply that sold fairly recently for around 35, 40 bucks. Really good brand, really strong brand. Don't confuse it with Indochino as I do because they're kind of in the same niche. It's made to measure formal wear stuff that's mostly internet based. Indochino stuff has decent sell through and you can do okay with it, but it's not the same as Suit Supply, which is a little bit on a higher shelf than Indochino. Another real bread and butter brand is Mountain Hardware. There are other outdoors brands that 
fetch more money, Patagonia, Cool, Arcturix. But Mountain Hardware is currently selling really, really well. And I've observed that that's true of most outdoors brands. After I shot that video, I went through and, and looked at a few outdoors brands and their numbers are healthier now than they were pre-pandemic. Um, I've heard that outdoor gear in general, new and used, is selling much better because people are tired of uh, staring at the insides of their houses. So Mountain Hardware, you're not gonna get, again, a ton of money. You're probably gonna make between five and 15 bucks profit on any given item, but it's 100% sell through right now. So if you can find it, just shovel that coal in the furnace. Very similarly, North Face. So in the previous video, I actually said North Face is not that strong of a brand as a holistic picture, but the jackets, the outerwear stuff sells really well, has 100% sell through. I went back and checked my work and I was wrong. Uh, that was old information and I have been humbled by the numbers. So the numbers are close to 100%. They're not quite there. It's about 93, I don't know, 90, 95% sell through on North Face stuff. And you might not get that much money if you're just selling t-shirts or basic button downs, but it's a lot healthier than it was the previous year or two of my reselling career. So I was wrong. If you find North Face stuff, if you can get it for a decent price, then probably pick it up because the market's really strong for North Face right now. Those are the 13 brands. I am going to be shooting a video consisting of a much more prodigious list. If you can't see it in the light, it occupies this entire area of brands that are not perfect brands, but are really, really strong brands. So these are gonna be the brands that are also rattling around in the back of my head, but that I can't endorse unconditionally as just buy on site based on the tag alone. But it's going to be a, a little bit of an opus and that's going to be coming out soon. So be tuned for that. And I hope that these brands help you out. And if you have any additional brands that come to mind as being 100% sell through or more, feel free to leave them in the comments because I would be personally grateful for it. So thanks for watching.